It is the Panthers of South Adelaide against the Double Blues of Sturt. And to get us underway, your first caller is the great man, John Nankerville. It will be Greaves for Sturt standing alongside the umpire. Goad for South Adelaide. A little bit of push and shove off the ball. Greaves double fist this one down. No one able to take clean possession. Ground level, quick kick forward there from Wheaton. Knocked down inside 50. Hargrave couldn't quite pick it up for South. Sturt working it nicely with some handball. Quick kick back and getting in the way again. Hargrave in his pink boots. Takes a nice grab. South can go inside. 50 again. Oh. Lace out. Just getting the touch on it. The big man Greaves. Snapping towards the goal though. Howls. And I think he might have got the first. He has South Adelaide on the board. This is better here, Phil, by Sturt. Just locking it in. They're getting a couple repeats. Starting to build a little bit of pressure on South. This is what they need after South's hot start. So in the ruck work there was Goat. Wakeland might have been impeded. Might have been a high tackle as well on the double blues player in Rawlinson. And it is. Slight angle, 40 metres out, leans back on it. It's drifting across the face, but he snuck it in. So far in this opening term is a fly, a big fly. Almost a mark out there to Waltham. Couldn't bring it down. Chance here for Draper, though, to take the footy out to a teammate. And a quick hand pass finds Duke. He'll kick to the aforementioned Panther player in Deline. Gets around his would-be tackler, Hab. So Slade has been busy. Put Sturt inside, 50. Nice fly. Waltham couldn't bring it down. Busting his way through Rawlinson. Umpire's found a free. Late little spoil, but they'll get away with it. The Panthers, they bring it towards halfback. Umpire's whistle is gone. Agnew in possession. So that's the handball over the top. Some run now through the middle from Draper. Puts the pass out to Lean. Very nice mark. Step player couldn't quite pull it in. Goad got it up here towards Barrett. Nice little short pass. Maloney couldn't affect the spoil. Panthers go inside 50. And Rodriguez gets on the end of this in his pink boots. Wants to play on. Good vision. Pops it over the top. And South will now have a shot from goal. Wheaton with the kick on goal. And he's nailed it. So South get their second. They skip ahead by nine points. Just evades his opponent. Chips over the top. Nice kick. Sharpshooter there in short ridge. Keeps it moving on towards the pocket. And this one's Howes, the big key four kick, the first goal of the game for South. Push that lead back out to two goals for the Panthers. Looked perfect from the moment it left the boot. Hands were clapping. Dad Trent played just over 200 games for the Panthers, a handy on baller. As Mills is kick inside 50 now. Fly early, but again reading the fly to the footy nicely. And she and Jacob. So that's some news at hand, of course. We heard tragically that Ron Barassi passed away yesterday. We just heard now Kevin cowboy Neal sadly passed away as well. So and Pope's kick inside 50, bouncing away from everyone. Atkinson got it. Adams pops up. South again, their defence resolute, knocking it down. In the end, they slip free to the Sturt player who snaps on the goal. And a wonderful finish from Ma. Blown the whistle. It's going to be a free kick. In the way of the mulleted Will Thomas. He'll get the ball inside 50. Well-weighted pass. Who's checking from the Panthers' defence? Out of wing. Chance to push forward. They do. Inside 50. Two on two contest. Ball comes to the back of the pack. Nice little handoff there from Wayton. Just missed the target. Umpire's whistle is gone. Holding the ball, the call. And Sturt have won it. Intensity to this contest and being rewarded justly on the scoreboard as well. Mills for his first. Sturt's fifth. He nails it. The double blues skip out. It's just inside the centre circle still. Hit out there to Shermer. Chance here now. Break away from the clearance through Draper. Who need to find a target. The kick to half forward's a well-weighted one. And taking the lead. Coming out of the forward 50 there is Agnew. So Jake Agnew goes inside. Where's Deline? Can't take it. Great crumbing here from Draper. The umpire will play advantage. Draper will waltz into an open goal. And kick one for the Panthers. So in a Tries to find space. Goes to ground. South with the hurried clearing kick didn't go far and intercepting on this occasion just a few minutes before half time in this 18's grand final. He kicks towards half back. Good jewel. Go. Got it down to Nichols. Hands off. Panthers inside 50. Getting a hand on it was Barrett. Couldn't take it. Deline trying to come through. Tackled. High. Could be a big moment here. Deline's won the footy. Will line up for his first. 
You're pretty happy with it, Phil. You watched the replay. Yeah, I think it was there, although some of the Sturt players suggesting he might have just led with the head. So Delane measured in his approach. From 30 out, shouldn't miss and doesn't miss. Delane gets his first. 23 gone, second term. Just from 12 games, of course, played three league games earlier in the year. There's great weight here from the South LA Ruckman in go. Takes the ball inside 50. Looking down there for a target. Front position on the third grab. It's a mark. Howes juggled it, but at the top of the square, he finished with it. Noah Howes a chance to kick his third. Oh, pretty casual, but pretty accurate. A third it is. And all of a sudden, back-to-back -back goals for the Panthers. They take the lead back. 6-5-41 South Adelaide. Little handball back towards his skipper and Pope. Gladigo had it, lost it. Draper wrapped him up. Good tackling. Good pressure there from Sturzel for South. Handball over the top, though. And now the Panthers... Can come towards half forward. Just dish it off. Hargraves kept running. 55 out. Long kick. Backing back to Lean. He won't need to touch it because it's bounced through. Or Dabinet for Sturt. Kicks towards half forward. Backing back courageously. Reading the fight nicely there was Schroeder. Older South. A point to Sturt to start this second half. Long kick inside. 50. Waltham from behind. Couldn't bring it down. Front and centre. Ma nails his second. And Sturt level the scores. Three fisted the ball over the left boundary line. So this is a resulting ball back into play. Surely a high tackle against the Sturt player. So 15 games, 18 goals for the 17-year-old. The left footer gets close to the man on the mark. Has he got the carry? He has. Shortridge gets his first. The Panthers back in front. 8-6-54. Sturt 7-6-48. Who supports community footy in SA? And another go, the big man. High kick. Backing back. Rawlinson off hands taken nicely by Woods to Hamilton. Swings it out wide here towards Duke. He picks it up on the bounce, can have a run. Runs through half back. Decides to take on and get round. Dabonet has another one. Streaking down that outer wing. Long kick towards 50. Howes had it. Fumble goes in again. Three to beat. Got it up there towards Draper. He's under pressure. Back towards Shadforth. Atkinson did well to win the footy. Now going off the ground, glad to go only as far as Duke South to go again. What have they got in short? A couple to choose from, and Rodriguez takes a very nice mark. Dabnett probably won his moment back on that far wing, really corral and get the tackle. Gives South a chance now, shot on goal. Keeps it low and straight and accurate. First goal for Rodriguez. South. Starting to just edge. Mark will play on quickly. Get the kick inside 50. It was glad to go, in fact. The kick a poor one, but not poor was that mark. And again, the Panthers' defence standing strong. A wonderful intercept mark. And on this occasion, Kia. Grandstand wing, knocked down from Marshall. Picked up nicely there by Chapman. High kick back inside 50. Good grab. Powers in front position there. Put to the apex of the square, finds Atkinson off a step. It's a well-weighted pass and some space forward to the footy here for Rawlinson. The true centre wing on the AFL Toyota logo. 25-metre oh penalty, so he'll discipline against the Panthers. Duke, the man on the mark now, right on the paint of 50. So Rawlinson just hoofs the ball towards the top of the square. Is it going to sail through for a goal? Did a defender get a fist on it? I don't think they did. Kier on the goal line. Task. The hand pass just missed the target in Dukes. Intensity just gone up a notch in this final quarter. Dukes did well, got a hand pass out, finds Sturzel. Dakota goes inside 50. Out number two on one with a mark there to the big Panthers player in Howes. Just going to have to drive it long towards half-back. Grandstand side from behind for Dool thumped it down. Duke again goes short over the head of Gladigo. Lux of fortune. Howes have gone to ground. Was on his knees. It just got over the outstretched of arm of Gladigo, did I say, but Key has got it deep in defence. I think the shock on Jack Hannah's face in the box here says that <laughs> no. I thought the man in front normally gets paid the mark and yeah, I think Maher is aggrieved that he didn't get the mark as the Panthers will take the chance now to, on the counter-attack, run through the middle of Adelaide Oval, a bounce, a third, a fourth, a looping hand pass over the top, ends in the hands of Barrett, has the speed to get around his opponent, feeds a hand pass off to a teammate there in Sturzel, he'll want the left, he'll kick towards goal and he's kicked it! So on the counter punch, the Panthers kick their 10th, 10-11-71, Sturt 8-9-57. Looking here for McEntee, the speedster breaks away from his target, he goes inside 50. He was felled as he kicked the footy, 
So is it downfield or does it come back? It's downfield. And aware of the game moment, Jaden Adams wants to quickly run back and get boot to ball. And snuck it in. It's a goal to the double blues. They get their ninth. Final seconds, 20 seconds to go. And they've got it through Atkinson. Long kick, deep kick inside 50. Nice mark. Slade kicks the goal. Brings the margin back to just two points. Time's going to beat them, I'm afraid, though. But wonderful finish by Sturt, the way they've run this game out. But there it is. South Adelaide have hung on and won the Torrens University Cup under-18 competition in 2023. South Adelaide 10-11-71. Sturt 10-9-69. Time running out for the double blues and a deserved victory to the minor premiers. Can you please now welcome Alan Stewart to award the medal to the player judge best of field in today's grand final, the Alan Stewart medal. Alan Stewart has been key to developing young South Australian talent over more than 40 years. And the winner of the 2023 Alan Stewart medal from South Adelaide, Sid Draper. I'm a bit hot and bothered, so this will be a bit short, but thank you to Torrens Uni and the Sandful for putting on a, another great season, for hosting at the Adelaide Oval, it's beautiful. Uh, thank you to Sturt, you guys were awesome, had a great, a great season and put up a massive fight. To the boys, you guys, great, love you so much, had a terrific year. Um, thank you to coaches and to SMC coach Christian, who's probably prepared us for this weather the best. Thank you. I asked Mark if he wanted to say a few words and he said, no, we would just like the Premiership Cup, thanks. And I think that is fair enough. I'd now like to invite Sandville CEO, Mr Darren Chandler, forward to present the Premiership Cup to South Adelaide. So there it is, folks, the Panthers 2023 Torrens University Under-18s Premiers defeating Sturt. A gallant double blues, 10-11-71, Sturt 10-9-69, the final scores. And well done to Sid Draper, the Alan Stewart medalist.